to properly email your teacher. Explained. So the end of the quarter is coming, grades are due. We're getting a lot of emails like this. Deathslayer99 at gmail.com to Ms. Brunat. Hey, I need the quiz opened. What? what? First of all, who are you? I'm looking at my roster and I don't see anybody with the last name Slayer99. Second of all, what assignment? There's a lot of assignments. So many things, so many days. Tell me which one you want specifically. And then what class are you in? What prep is it? I have lots of classes. I have lots of preps. I need to know which one because different classes do different things. Instead, next time, let's try this. From deathslayer99 at gmail.com to Miss Brunat. Hello, Miss Brunat. Please address me by my name. This is blank. Insert your name here because deathslayer99 doesn't tell me who you are. From your insert the class period and the subject. Because again, different classes do different things. Please tell me which one you're in and save us both some time. I have questions about grade book assignment name. Don't tell me, ah, that one thing that we did that one time with the Google Doc. No! Insert the grade book name so I know exactly what you're talking about so I don't have to guess what you're thinking. And then of course you want to put your specific request. What do you need about this assignment? Do you have a question about the grade that you got? Do you have a question about how you do the assignment? Or do you have a, you need a password or something? Please put the specific request, okay? And then sign off. Thank you for taking the time to answer this email. Thank you for all that you do as an educator to ensure that I have a future. I appreciate you. That might be a little bit extra. But brownie points ain't never hurt nobody. Sincerely, insert your name again, please, okay? Because let's say I have 70 students and 10 of them send me a vague email. 10 vague emails add up because I have to take two minutes to respond to your email. Hey, who is this? Um, what assignment are you referring to? It's gonna take you some time to then respond back to me and then it's gonna take me another three minutes to go look up the assignment, see what it is that you need to do for it. And so that's now totaling me five minutes. Multiply that by 10, y'all have now wasted 50 of my minutes. Wow. I don't have 70 students, I have 175 students. So do that math. I know that the next question is, when will that assignment that I just did be graded? Yeah. Well. Let's calculate that. Um, I signed the assignment on September 7th. You had it due September 14th, so that's seven days already. You turned it in October 1st, that's another 14 days, 15, give or take. You probably had about 21 days to do this assignment. So if I square that and multiply it by the square root and I take the derivative and I apply the, the late assignment theorem, the answer that I get is it'll get graded when I grade it sometime before 10 a.m. when grades are due for report cards. And that is how you properly email your teacher. Explained.